You're a scrapper, baby. They didn't stand a chance. How about me? That's it, baby. Time to vacate these premises. Thanks for getting me out of there. I don't know what to say. Words don't begin. Don't I know it. I've got something for you. What you talking about? I've been ready. You got questions, I got answers. I know I've been bad. Guess I should have seen that coming. Yeah? You got questions, I got answers. I never tire of talking about myself. Baby, that can go any direction you want. You're a scrapper, baby. Blow on the dice, baby. Jackpot, baby. I knew we'd see eye to eye. Easy pickings. I accept your challenge. You're the gas who killed Caesar, ain't you? Ring a ding. Bitter springs. Ring a ding, baby. So you're working with the boss. I guess that makes you one of us now. Well, I've got a suggestion for a way to make sure you're in good with all of us, Chairman. Particularly the boss man. Interesting. Great. See, when House suggested we take over the Strip, we had to abandon our campsite pretty quick-like. We had to leave some stuff behind. When we got a chance to go back for it, a couple of things were gone. Well, I heard a rumor that some of them backstabbing great con losers are the ones that raided us while our backs were turned. And that they've been seen around there again lately. It suit us all down to the ground to see those bastards paid. And it make the boss double happy. Since I think the items they took were kind of personal to him. He's never let on what was taken, but I know he'd want it back. Sound like something you can do? That's the spirit, baby. Let me put the location of our campsite into your pit boy Good luck to you. Name like that could have only brought bad luck. You're the one that killed Caesar, right? Baby, good to see you. At least in the old days, we could up and split when things got too heavy. Right now, I miss those days. Of all them trouble-making bootrider punks to bring here with you, you pick Benny. <laughs> you better watch your back, friend. He'll stick a knife in it. Ah, hell, you're that courier do-gooder, ain't you? No way we're letting you get away. Bet you're carrying some good firepower, and we could sure use that. And catching Benny off the strip? We can't pass that up. Watch out! Ah! <laughs> What do you need? Boot Riders. Silly name. Well, you look like you've been traveling a while. And who is that with you? Is that Benny from the Boot Riders? 
You do look different these days, don't you? Oh, damn. It was Reg and his bunch, wasn't it? I knew those three were going to get themselves into trouble. I'm sure they were looking for the package Papa hid away. What has it been now? Six, seven years? I wish I could help you, but I don't know what was in the package or where it's hidden. I can tell you this. I believe it's hidden somewhere right here in Red Rock Canyon. Knowing Papa, he's tucked it away right under Reginald's nose. He's the one who fussed about it the most. Papa probably even planted a clue as to its whereabouts. I can't speak for what he was thinking, but I imagine he figured whoever found it deserved to keep it. That way, he wouldn't have to make the decision himself and be accused of playing favorites. Ah, the Great Cons and the Boot Riders have something of a history and a lot of rivalry. And the Boot Riders becoming the first family on the Strip hasn't helped matters. The subject of who deserves the Boot Rider spoils comes up once in a while, and some of the, let's say, more competitive men have a hard time letting it go, especially Reg. Frankly, I'm tired of hearing it rehashed, and would be glad to see the thing discovered and gone. Good luck, and believe me, I mean it. I hope that you find it and that it puts an end to some of this petty old rivalry. Hello, Benjamin. So, do you miss your big sister yet? I sure miss you, but it's really pretty here. Flowers and trees like we've never seen in the Mojave. I do miss you. I miss everybody, but I'm glad I left. I hope everybody's forgiven me for leaving, but I really wanted to do something besides ambushing people and scrounging through ruins. I knew I could do something better, and remember, Benjamin, you can too. But I'm sure you're more interested right now in what's in this package than in listening to me preach at you. I found these pistols on the way here, and they seem to me to be just your style. I haven't seen a matched pair of pistols in forever. I hope they keep you safe. I'd really be happy to see you reach 18, kid. Remember that, okay? And remember, when you hold these pretty ladies in your hands, that you're meant for better things than scavenging. And I hope I'm there to see what you become. I love you, kid. And don't you ever forget it. I don't know what to say. Here. Yeah? How's that sound? You're a class act, baby. All right. Ciao. Yeah, at least in the old days, we could up and split when things got too bad. Hey, hey, there's my guy. Well, you made it back in one piece. How'd it go? Hey, how about that? Well, here's a little something-something to show our appreciation, okay, kid? Thanks. From all of us. You got questions? I got answers. Here. Oh, you don't want to do that, baby. You know where to find me. What say you and me cash out? Something else you wanted to know? That's it, baby. Time to vacate these premises. Sing, baby. You got a captive audience. I know I've been bad. Baby, that can go any direction you want. Yeah? And let the chips fall as they may. Yeah. 
Got enough? Did you see that? Sing, baby. You got a captive audience. We'll catch up in a bit. What say you and me cash out? You and me are gonna swing. Something else you wanted to know? Thanks again for this. You're platinum, baby.